Hi everyone, Lori Joe here. Today I was working on a painting and in the process I was getting ready to fix all the hair and paint this hair, but I thought the steps that I use in this, this technique, I've been asked many times in regular portrait work in the editing process how I fix stray hairs. And it's a very easy process using this technique, so I thought I would go ahead and put a quick tutorial together for you and show you how I do it. I have, let me just show you where I fixed it here. I have already fixed it on this layer and I'm not going to get rid of that because I've done the work. I just want to show you the steps. So let me turn that off. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a new copy to work on for the sake of this tutorial. So shift Control alt e did that. So I'm going to work on this layer. What you want to do is you want to pick your stamp tool. And this technique works really well if the background is at all darker than the stray hair that you want to cover or if the background is extremely light and the hair is dark. So otherwise, if it's a dark haired person on top of a white background, say, or anything lighter than the dark hair, you would switch the mode to a different one. So in this case, I'm going to go from dark and cover up light areas. So I've switched my stamp tool down here to darken. And if, like I said, if, the, if it was a reverse here, light background, dark hair, you would switch this to lighten instead, and the same process would work. Now I have my opacity and flow at 100%. This is totally up to you if you want to work that fast. I know if I was uh, editing for just a portrait, I may not work this fast, but because I'm going to be painting, I don't necessarily need to um, lower those or be more precise. So now all I did was sample the darker area. So you just hit your Alt or Option on a Mac and then click and hold so that you sample that darker area and then simply paint over the areas that you want to go away. So all this little stray hair that's coming out. I'll show you really quickly how I do that. Now I'm just using a soft round brush that comes with Photoshop. Nothing fancy here. Some don't know that the stamp tool really lots of these tools over here, the eraser, all kinds of them. You can go in to your brush panel. I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. You can go into your, your brush panel where you pick your brushes and with the stamp tool even, you can pick any brush. But I'm just clicked on this soft round one. You can just go all the way around and so over here I just sample click and then anything that's lighter than the dark area that I have sampled, I would paint over. And I just make, I'm using my bracket key to make my brush a little bit smaller. And I would just make my brush a little smaller to get in tighter into these areas. Now I don't worry too much if you can see a little bit of the hair kind of in this area because if I just switch over to my mixer brush or your smudge tool, whichever you like to use, you can just kind of mix anything in that it didn't cover. And that is the easiest way on a solid background especially to get rid of stray hair. If you're outdoors, you may not want to smudge it in, you, but that dark and light mode that I just showed you, that will work perfectly. So I hope this helps you in your basic editing process, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.